You know, so your body's got a lot of shit in it, and you, you kind of adjust to working out and not drinking. Very good life cleansing. I left my heart in sentence. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll be here all week. Don't forget your waitress. <laughs> I left my heart in singing, singing, Santa Clara. Wowie, wow. As the captain of the Hindenburg said, is it getting hot in here or is it just me? <laughs> Talk about a cleanse kill. Hey, sir, this is not your living room. We're no. trying to get the toxins out of our bodies. Can you stop the singing, please? Oh, hey, that worked. Wait a minute, doesn't that guy look kind of familiar to you? Kind of, but in one of those unfamous ways. Very unfamous. It's hitchhiking Harry. Holy shit. See, it's another sign, just like in my dream, that I gotta fix this. Oh, fuck Harry, he's an asshole. No, he's a wrong that I must write. Hey, Harry. Harry, huh? Oh. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll drive, I'll drive, I'll drive. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Now I got the hiccups. I need something to scare me out of the hiccups. Ah! Thank you. Thank you very much. Harry, it's us. Oh, the two guys have raped me. Whoa. Wait a minute, you, you got raped? Not really. I guess that's funny. Harry, no, it's Joey and Sully. We're the ecstasy guys. I haven't got a clue. You remember you, you thought we were gay? You, you call us lovers? Oh, yeah! The two fruiters who kicked me out of the car! Hey, I'm glad you're still together, guys. I really am. I'm all for the same-sex marriage. I really am. Especially a mixed marriage, because I know you're Jewish. How'd you know I was Jewish? Oh, I don't know. The way you move your neck? What? Don't get me wrong, I love Jews. I'm no smuck. <laughs> I grew up with them, and I love the way the rabbis are always gargling. Harry! Harry! <laughs> Fuck you guys! Harry, no, stay! Look, we just want to apologize. Apologize? Apologizing is useless as you two in a heterosexual gangbang. You both come up short! Ha! Harry, if you stay, I'll buy your right shoe. You're on. Harry, that day we felt so bad about what happened with the whole ecstasy and you telling us that awful story about your life. And mm -hmm. We'd love to be able to help you get your wife back. Yeah, you know, I actually think about that story all the time. Hey, it really was a true story. 43 years ago, when I lost the only person I ever loved in my life besides myself, and that's my lovely Mildred. And all because I was sitting there having Thanksgiving dinner at her father and mother's house. And I should never, ever have taken that ecstasy pill. It was the biggest mistake of my life. Shut up, Harry. Okay. You have been acting strange ever since you got here. Mom. Daddy. Harry's just been under a lot of stress because of work. Right, Harry? Harry? Right, Harry? You see, he's on the LSD. Thanks for stating the obvious. No, he's not. Harry, is everything okay, sweetheart? What's wrong? Johnny, don't be jealous, but there are many beautiful people in this world of all colors, and I happen to love them all. Sweet Harry, now I know he's hallucinating. Just cut it out, Sergeant Dipshit. Maud? That's bone. Oh, that is my mother, what? Harry. I never. You should try it. We're leaving. Oh well, bye. See ya, Daddy. Aren't you coming? I'll meet you in the car. And I wake up the next morning with a tarp over my head and my father-in-law's boot up my ass. Harry, we know we've heard this part, but how can we help you find Mildred? Who? Your wife? Oh, that old slut. To be honest with you guys. It would be very difficult for you to find her because she's been dead for 23 years. So the only way you can make it up to me is, is uh, I don't know, maybe you can show me your dicks. Ah, 
That it only entice you. Listen, I'm out of here, okay? How about a little more heat? <laughs> okay, oh, by the way, don't forget my shoe. It's very hard to do squats with a missing shoe. Ta-ta, sweetie poos. He's an asshole.